Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I have Moonstone. I, don't, how do I, I can't figure out which way to point when it's Moonstone Mama's here. And she is going to share with us her knowledge on these gemstones that I'm going to unbag. And this is her second time here. So if you guys missed the first show, go back and check it out on my playlist because She's got some knowledge. All right, I'm going to pull up her YouTube channel just to show you guys. And it is Moonstone Mama. So please go over and subscribe. I'm going to link it down in the description of the video like I always do. And let's show her some support. Um, and how I met her was is she commented on my video where I was asking about the green stone necklace. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to reach out to her and see if she wants to come on because she has a YouTube channel. Well, excited to be here. <laughs> yes, yes. So um, you want to, I know you did it in the last video, but if you kind of want to tell people about your channel and kind of what you do on it, while I, I pull out the first thing here, that'd be awesome. No problem. I primarily do jewelry unboxings. Um, I buy from Shop Goodwill. I buy from thrift stores. I thrift to sell. I have an Etsy. I have an eBay. I have a Poshmark. Um, I'm not a big fan of jewelry. I never have been, but my favorite part is the detective work. I, so I don't really like jewelry, but that's what I do. It's what yes. my channel is all about. So it's easy for me to part with stuff. Um, some people are like, how can you get rid of this? I'm like, well, it's it's not kind of easy. <laughs> I like to sell it. I don't like to wear it. There it is. <laughs> okay. So, um, and you guys can find her Etsy on her, her, uh, YouTube channel. And so your mom does it with you once a week. Is that right? Yes. I have live jewelry auctions. I have them on Monday. So, okay. Okay. Awesome. Fun. Um, this piece here just looks like a little stretch bracelet. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Like maybe you can that is a style of bracelet. Um, I know that sounds like, uh, bah, but it, it really is. Some people okay. collect that kind of style and it's adjustable. That little one up top can go down and make it smaller or bigger okay. for it, but it escapes my at this moment. But it's not a if slide. You wanna make any but it's not the slide. The slide bracelets go like this. They pull. This one's different, right? Right, exactly. Okay. So okay. All right. Let me figure out. You wanted me to shrink you. I can't remember how I did that. So you can see this stuff better. Oh, that's not right. Whoops. There we <laughs> there. go. Okay. Now, you can, now I think I think this is Tiger's Eye. Can you see it? <gasps> yes, it is. Okay, now what For are these? Sure. Are these just standard beads? Those could be seed beads. Seed beads come in a variety of size. Mm -hmm. um, and they're very expensive. So, because um, I just sold yeah. a ton of seed beads on Poshmark and they sold super fast. I picked them up at a garage sale and they were yes. from Gem Moon, Moon, or no, Gemstone Mountain. Yeah, that's a good place. Yeah, that's a good uh, I a probably good undersold them because they sold the next day. Oh, well, yes. I got them really cheap. So fun tip, pick those up, <laughs> seed beads. <laughs> yeah, I sold, I mean, I'm talking some poundage. I had to pay overage. It was over five pounds. Holy smokes. I know, I probably messed up. <laughs> they bought them so quick. Okay. okay, so this little bracelet had, I think you called it a toggle. Yes. And it's just, I don't know. To me, this is really boring. But you, what do you think? Because you can see on the larger two rectangular stones that there's beautiful matrixing. Okay. Um, it could possibly be an ocean jasper, um, a picture jasper. Stunning. Um, so you think this is really nice? Like yes. Pretty. Yes. Okay. It's beautiful. All of that is from the earth. Seems really cheap to me, though. Does it pick up on a magnet? No. So oh, wait, it, hold on. Yeah. Uh, not the stone thing not, or not the bead, but the, is there or maybe a wire on the inside? Huh. Um, yes, quite possibly. You I could think it's on, no, that's plastic. It's sticking to, yeah, I think it's sticking. Yeah. Okay. So it's, um, 
it could just be a costume piece, but those stones really set it off. I'd say minimum $15 on Etsy. So would you call this just a stone toggle bracelet? I would call it a Jasper because it is a Jasper okay. stone. Okay. <laughs> now, what, what I mean. if I sell something and somebody's like, that's not Jasper, like once I sell it? I would always disclose I'm not a gemologist. I don't know. I encourage you doing research on okay. every item you decide to purchase secondhand. Okay. okay. Um, Cause you never know. So oh, someone's always going to have an opinion on what they think it is. So. Right. Yeah. And they could be wrong and I could be right. And they could, I could be like, Oh, so. but the always just natural stone bracelet. <laughs> now, this is really long. Ooh. Holy smokes. That's a long end. And it's really pretty. Really and it's pretty. got a toggle and it's like a heart toggle. Um, let me get it on this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's got to be like 60 inches long. It's really long. That right there looks like it's, it screams fall to me. So right oh. there, it's beautiful, stunning. You have, it looks like you have some carnelian pieces in there, some carnelian chip. What is it called? Carnelian. I wonder if we'll be out of our houses by fall. It's stunning. And it looks like the larger stones are like a banded agate. Okay. I'm getting to know agate. I'm like, now how do you say that? Do you say it agate or <laughs> she's like agate? I'm like, oh, oh. What, are, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't remember what I called it. Agat. I think I said agat. Is it yes. agat? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my, my viewers know how ridiculous I am. Now, you know what? This is saying glass hmm. on that, on that white one. Hmm. It, it looks like a stone. Glass and stones, they're tricky sometimes. Now the little ones are going past. Yes. And this one went way past. This one's, so the further it goes, does that mean it's harder? Mm, I don't know. I don't own a, a Presidium gem tester. Okay. Uh, one way to tell is scratching it on glass. Um. So maybe these bigger ones aren't and the rest are, could that be? Quite possibly. Huh, okay. The little ones for sure, I can tell you they're chips, they're pretty common, but right, what the thing is gonna make that like a moneymaker piece is the length. There's a lot of carrots of natural stone chips on there. So 18 minimum, 22, 26. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of stone. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool, but it would be cooler if like, I think this is a stone, but this one, I'm not sure. Maybe it's, it says glass, but maybe it's plastic. I don't know what plastic does when it hits on the thing. Okay, these might be more of those pearls. Ooh. Whoa. It's a long one. So they have a really shiny iridescence to them. So it doesn't appear to look like Tahitian pearls. But rub, 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 rub them together and see if they're real. They feel gritty. Okay. But it, it, let, it got chalky. Oh. So I don't think the other one did that. No. Probably not. All right. Hold on. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a, uh, gosh, let me see if I can show you what it looks like. It's like so, scratching into it. Yeah. So it, it has probably some kind of coating on it. Okay. Yeah. So it's just junk. No, if it feels gritty and they look like pearls, then it's pearls. They're just lower end pearls. And someone decided to cover them to make them look like Tahitian pearls, but they're imitation, but they're still pearls nonetheless. I want to look at that one from the other video we did because I have it sitting right here and I want to compare it because we thought that that one was legit, right? Yes, I do believe so. Oh yeah, they look totally different. I don't know if you guys, you'll be able to tell on the screen. You can tell just the shininess of the larger one just uh -huh. in comparison to the other one that I do believe is Tahitian pearls. Yeah. You can almost see the quality. Yeah. 
they look totally different. Okay, good to know. Yeah, those just seem cheaper. Okay, now this reminds me of that necklace that I sent you a picture of. That mm -hmm. I have this carved. Mm -hmm. But this is not carved. It's just... Um, but it's got that pinkish... Let me try the white. It might show up. It's got like pink and grays. Ooh, it's really pretty. There, you can see it better. Yes. Yeah, that's rhodonite. Uh, it's it's a pink stone with black and gray matrixing. Stunning. And it is knotted in between. And I'll tell you what, here what it says. It goes... It's in the quartz, amethyst, and citrine. And it's also hitting the jadeite in the spinal or spinal. But um, now there's places that are like chalky, like maybe where the clear coat didn't go on super well. Um, normally, if a stone has been tumbled and polished, there would just be... So is it like matte or? Yeah, it's like matte in some areas, like it didn't get polished. That's that's pretty normal, especially with wear of something. The okay. breakdown of the oils on your skin can take away the, the polishing effect of the stone. It's but only in one area. So maybe they wore it like this all the time. Yep, quite possibly so. Now, do you think that's vintage because it has no class? It's hard to say the knotting. Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent certain, but it's still. Yes, a I just didn't know if there was like any trick for that. Okay. This um, it just looks like a normal class. It doesn't look vintage. Okay. Looks like a nice costume piece. You have some dyed magnesite. So Mag that is just magnesite. Magnesite, yeah. So it's it's another stone that is easily dyed. So it's manufactured, mass produced because it's easily surface dyed to make it look like turquoise. But that's different than this, or is it? Yeah. Different? Yes, the one, the larger oval one, is dyed halite. That one, because it has more dark black matrixing, okay. is mag. Okay, so I'm going to give them a close up so they can learn with me, so they can see the difference in the, like they both have that, uh, what do you call that? The, the, the black and the gray or whatever. It looks like crackles. Yes. But they do have a very different look to them. Yes. Okay, awesome. This My shell? guess is shell, is that what you said? I don't know, I thought maybe it was shell, but they look like little rocks. I think they're rocks of some sort. A great way to tell if something is dyed or not, especially having a piece like that, is literally like pulling it apart a little bit. If the hole where it has been drilled has any kind of white look to it, it's dyed. Because most of the time, any kind of stone that has been dyed is just surface dyed. So the center is still the natural color of the stone. Yeah, it looks like it's the same in the middle. So either that piece hasn't been worn that much, but looking at it in the vibrancy of the blue, it's either, it's, I'm pretty certain it's a dyed piece. It looks like that piece up close that I just showed you, it's kind of got those different hues to it. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. browns mixed in. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, a toggle bracelet, stone mm -hmm. bracelet. My, um, if I put this stuff on Etsy, everybody's going to be like, this girl's clueless. I'm looking at her store. <laughs> They'll be like, oh. and overpriced. <laughs> no. Okay. So this piece has some carved stones. Ooh. Can you see the carvings? Yes. They're beautiful. Yeah. And it does look, it has the, um, what do you call that? A pinch slide clasp a pinch slide clasp and it has one uh, well it has a couple beads but not many but yeah so it's got some carved 
That's beautiful. Um, they're very shiny. Um, not shiny, really. No? Okay. It has a sheen to it, but it's not like super shiny. It's okay. going up to the jadeite and the spinal, spinal, hmm. spinal. But it's blue. Yes. So. I personally have never seen blue jade. I don't know if blue jade even exists. <laughs> no, I'm sure it doesn't. I'm sure it's, <laughs> this gemstone tester. I'm not going to be a salesman for it because I don't understand it. It's a really good way to narrow things down. If you have an idea of what group it is that I do believe is um, it's coming off pink. It is. Here. So it's rose quartz. That's a great one. Um, the metaphysical properties are all about love on that one. It's a very popular stone to sell for me. So rose quartz. Mm -hmm. I'm have to watch the video back as I'm listing and be like, okay, this one is. Um, okay, so rose quartz. Does it have a clasp? No. So a lot of times they'll be on like a, an illusion wire. And a lot of those stones can either be worn, but I think they're primarily made to be resold and used as chips or like crafts or something. So it's like a double purpose kind of thing. Okay. It is going past the quartz. Hmm. I really don't know how accurate that thing is. You know what I mean? And I wonder if the size of the stone also affects how it reads you know what i mean yeah i'm i like i said i don't have a presidium gem tester i don't know i've heard really good things about it <laughs> well i'm sure it's really good if you know what you're doing but for someone like me that you'll doesn't get there. Really you'll get there so this barrel. is a barrel so it looks like you have some like shell beads and spacers in between. Okay. And I believe I've had a necklace similar to this. And I do believe that that's dyed how light. <laughs> Does that give you, is it better on white? Yes. Sometimes differentiating between dyed how light and turquoise is pretty difficult. I haven't been doing it for too long, but I still get stumped. Now it has... Ooh, this is really interesting. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know how to describe it. I wish I knew. Uh, it almost has like pits that are metallic-y. Oh. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, this is really interesting. Let me see if I can... Uh, I really want you to see this. And I know it's gonna be really hard to. Can you see that at all? Yes. It's like uh in in some you know how like if you break a rock and it's like crystallized on the inside. Oh interesting. Okay. Yeah, right there. It has you some like druzy effect to it. Yeah. That's very interesting. Um Wow. That to me, most, that's interesting, but I think it's a dyed piece for sure. Okay. Definitely trying to be imitation turquoise or trying to be turquoise. This is another one of those just. Love that. That is Amazonite. <laughs> Am, spell it. Amazonite. Like Amazon. Amazon night. <laughs> Amazonite. Now, you just know that because of the color? Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Is that a type of quartz? Um, it's a stone all on its own. Um, it's a it's a type of in a green stone when they're light in hue like that, it could either be aventurine or amazonite. But okay. either way, those stretch bracelets are they are really good sellers for me. Stretch bracelets? Mm-hmm. Because they're full of gemstones. That right there looks like another dyed howlite. Okay. And it's kind of, um, I would put that in a craft lot. Okay. That's what I was thinking. No one's going to want that craft lot from you. <laughs> Somebody's going to want it. 
Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. Ooh, is it magnetic? Yes. It is magnetite. Okay. So it is a man-made stone, a man-manufactured stone. It's been, but it's really good in the metaphysical properties for grounding. Um, okay. A lot of people like it. If they're really spazzy, they like to wear it as calm and peace. Really? So, so what do you oh, think? Price wise? Like, um, minimum 15. What's that? 15? So nothing mm -hmm. really. I'm like looking for the hundred dollar piece. Okay. So what happened here? <laughs> That is a craft 101 piece right there. That yeah. looks like the more magnetite. Okay. But that's still something somebody craft with. Yeah. Okay. Purple. Amethyst. And it has like some, it's definitely got some different shades. Um, the deeper the color of amethyst, the more sought after it is. But since it's chips, um, it's perfect. Someone is looking for a long amethyst strand necklace. <laughs> and so what's like something value like for that? I would put that minimum $22 on my Etsy. Okay. And you feel confident saying amethyst. Can you see it? It's hard yes. to Yes, that is amethyst. Okay, cool. That's my birthstone. Oh, very, very baby. Okay, this is kind of a fun little piece. Ooh, it's carved. How fun. Beautiful. Um, on the back, it's weird because they've got these two little dangle things on the back. That's interesting. But it's a, like a type of braid. I wouldn't call it a braid. It doesn't look like a braid, but it's some sort of somebody has, you know, probably handmade it, right? Yes, that for sure looks like an artisan piece to me. Okay. Um, I'll stick the thing on it and see what it says. Could it be citrine? Yes. Ooh, am I, did I just maybe get something right? Hey, it I, could be citrine's kind of yellowish, right? Yes. It could be citrine. Um, it's one of those ones that it's weird to hold up in your hand, but it's better lay down on a bust just like that. It's a stunning piece. Beautiful. Let me try and can I feel like it's not really showing as cool as it really looks. Let me try it on the black. Yeah, it's cool looking. I definitely think it's very cute. Love that. So cute. Okay. I'm glad I've got this little black thing because I had the bust, but so thank you to my subscriber who made me this. It's perfect. Okay. Um, this is fun. It's a little, uh, stretch. Ooh, is it really glittery? Glittery, glittery, like looks like glitter. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, no. Interesting. It, it's got that, um, Again, like it's it's a rock. You know what I mean? It's got that rocky look where it's not polished in some areas. Interesting. Okay, pull it real close. Okay. Let me try and put it on here. Ooh. Um, well, how does it feel? Smooth. Is it? Ice cold or not? <laughs> no, I don't think it's ice cold. It's not. It see. may be. See how that has like the, maybe a band. So what is it? Ag, ag, agate? It may be agate. It may be jasper. It may be carnelian. It may be coral. Um, Here, this has kind of got a unique like little. Yeah. I believe then that that is jasper. Okay. It kind of reminds me of the one other one you called Jasper. Now mm -hmm. this one has this on it. Yes. That's Jasper. So I would call that a Jasper mm -hmm. gemstone stretch bracelet. Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, I keywords are not my thing. That's okay. And the more you handle it, the more familiar you get with it. Ooh, how pretty. That's definitely a dyed quartz. Um, so when I put that on there, it should fall in the quartz? Mm -hmm. Should. There's a difference between, you know, looking at it on the screen, touching it, handling it. And you know, it hold, it goes past it and then it settles back in at it. You know what I mean? So I think sometimes it's how I'm holding the pin. Like if I'm holding it at the wrong angle, it shoots past. And then when I get it like calm, it goes back down. So yeah, quartz. So this is a dyed quartz. Just because normally anything, you don't Like, is it worth anything? Absolutely. Um, some people want the, the really, really pretty purple colors, the violet colors, I guess. <laughs> okay. So this is tiger's eye and magnetite. Is that what it's called? Let me see it. Magnetite. Yeah. It's magnet. Uh, magnet. Yep. You got it. Look at that guys. I'm learning. <laughs> All right. So it's got a barrel, mm -hmm. but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's vintage, right? Um, most likely it is, especially you can tell if something's vintage about the length of it. People were a lot smaller back then. So okay. they're so the going to be smaller. When you say vintage, are we talking like vintage, vintage, like fifties or are we talking like seventies or seventies probably past seventies okay. back. Okay. Cause it doesn't look that old. It still looks really clean and like fresh, but now this one is a KJJ. Ever heard of that? Nope. <laughs> so it's just costume. Ooh. It's signed JKJ or something. Or wait. Oh, it's New York and Company. So that's okay. just, that's junk, right? No, 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 no. But it's um, just like New York and Company, like the limited or whatever. A lot of people like Chico's is a really great reseller brand. Yeah, I thought okay. Mm -hmm. It's a really great Thank reseller you. brand. And New York, okay. NY, okay. a really great reseller brand. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, to get your maximum resale value out of it, I definitely put it in a bundle if I were you. But nonetheless, it's a gemstone. Network. I mean, it's probably like ten bucks, right? If I'm lucky. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's bread and butter. Yep. Now here's a big cat's eye. Yeah, that's a nice tiger's eye. Tiger's eye, not cat's eye. That's <laughs> okay. Of course I mess it up. I was like just so proud of myself. Okay. So that's got a lot of tiger's eye on it. Yes, sure does. That's kind of a statement piece, right? Would yes. A statement piece? A hundred percent. I like the statement piece in the title when I don't know what I'm talking about. Yep. Um, now, what do you think on that value wise? Well, tiger's eye is a little bit more common of one okay. so to me personally that'd probably be like the lower end of the price range just because of what's lower end i would say 12 15 dollars uh, okay this is just like stones mm -hmm. like they look like pebbles out of my yard mm -hmm. Not so that I have pebbles in my yard but you know what i mean yes they're, I they're tumbled, tumbled stretch they're not what polished tumbled mm -hmm. tumbled stretch bracelet mm -hmm. Stones, huh? Any value? I would say twelve, fifteen dollars. Really? Now, is that plus shipping or free shipping? I usually do free shipping on mine. Yeah. Um. Okay, so this is kind of this is interesting. It toggles at the. Oh, she's fancy. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Ooh. It's got. Okay beads at the top. This is a very uh, like stone, it's cratered. That's volcano word. stone. It's What's great that? for aromatherapy, volcano stone. Okay. So you put a little essential oils, you put your perfume in it. It's really gonna help you out throughout the day. Okay. Um, that to me could be literally anything. Okay. It could be a dyed quartz. It could be a granite. Um. It could be humble granite. 
it's a stone. We'll just call it a stone. And then is this right here, um, that magnetite or whatever, or is that, could that be silver? It's not sticking. It really looks like an artisan piece to me. Okay. Like someone kind of put it together. So the best yeah. way is to just do an acid test on it to see if it is or isn't. Or just call it a artisan necklace. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see like once people find me, they'll be like, I'm gonna go to that store. That girl's clueless. Um, so this says $3.99 on it. Mm. Like at a crafters thing, maybe. So it's just that's beautiful. That's sodalite. Is it a stretch? Yeah. It's beautiful. Sodalite. Um there's a broken stone. Bummer. Cracker. Okay. Um, this one is just a really pretty color. Ooh. It looks vintage for sure. It's very, very vintage. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it's me. very tiny. It's a mm -hmm. choker or an anklet. <laughs> okay. So I'm not getting it on there right. So it's super cute, but I, do you know what it is? It's kind of like an orangish color. It's very interesting. Um, Vintage right beaded gemstone necklace. Put it in your gem tester. I'm curious to see what category it comes up as. Okay. If it's even a gemstone, right? It it's might kind of, be glass. I'm having a hard time getting it to... It's glass. So with it being such a vibrant color, to it's, me, not, I mean, it's not real cold. So I would just call, I mean, it's really cool though. Mm -hmm. So just vintage glass beaded necklace. Yep. Choker style. It says something on it. Japan. Okay. Yeah. That's a telltale for vintage. Yeah, it's super vintage. I love finding made in Japan stuff. Well, when it comes to not like necklaces, but not really jewelry, but you know, other stuff, toys. And that's more where, okay. Ooh, okay. So to me, that looks like carnelian, which is just like a transparent with a Hello. barrel glass. Mm -hmm. So... It's a good one. That's a sweater length one. It's pretty good. I would okay. probably. Now, do you use sweater length in your title? Um, you, like, is that I, a descriptive word that you would recommend using or not? Definitely. Okay. It gives people a general idea, especially on how to wear the piece. If okay. they don't know. This is marked Germany. Ooh. Um, piece then. I don't see anything else. Um, but it's. Those are pretty common. Um, I've I've had a quite a few of those, and those are just quartz. Okay, gold tone. Um, just for fun. Gives you practice with it too. <laughs> yeah, because when if if you tell me what it is, and then I can. So yeah, it's falling into it's hitting that black bar. Now, it it just seems really cheap, like the. The bracelet part, but the part yeah. that hooks on to the stone that seems mm -hmm. nice. Yes, um, yes, <laughs> that is a pretty common bracelet. Oh, it's probably not. <laughs> no, I, I would more like probably bundle that with something to get your money back. No, yeah, this is weird. Ooh, I love weird. It's weird. I'm trying to figure uh -huh. out what is happening in this picture. Ooh. Let me see if I can get you a better. Are you, can you see it at all? Not really. Okay. Not really. Let me try it on white. Because I really want you to see this. Oh gosh. What a stunning thing. <sighs> oh, I'm I mean, it's really, really weird. I shouldn't say weird, but. It is so cool. 
I'll get better with this camera too. No worries. It, I want to say there's a dragon in there somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's a weird looking dragon. It but looks. It, it's like a horse dragon or. It looks Asian inspired to me. That's really. That okay, kind of. Probably the best angle. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing when I look at it. Whoa. Um, that is some kind of carved ornamental stunner of a piece. It's a stone. Mm -hmm. Here's the back. I would, I would definitely, yeah, that's diadendric agate. Um, deal what? <laughs> Dia <Dendric? laughs> I know. Okay. Where are my auctions too? People are like, um, could you spell that out for me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Hand carved. Yes. So what would agate be on this thing? Anything? It can fall under any category probably, right? So I mean, it's... I don't know if that's a dragon or it looks like some sort of horse with like a dragon head. Either way, it's pretty punk rock. <laughs> what do you think price-wise? Oh, price-wise. Um, that's hard. Because it's so unique. It's very hard. Because if you could narrow down what you may think it is, like if it's Asian inspired or something, that might give you a better clue. I don't know. That one. <laughs> this is just a, this does not feel cold. Um, it has no clasp. Is it see through or is it opaque? I don't know what that means. Is it um, solid black or is it translucent? Hold on, let me stick this thing on it and that might give us a, it's just, it's not registering. It's just showing glass. Okay, it's showing glass? Yeah. I'm really bad at maybe holding it. When they're tiny like this, it's just so hard. Cause that could either be smoky quartz or onyx. Now it's not showing anything. Could it be plastic? Is it cold? It's Does not it cold. cold. Heavy? Now it's on glass. Interesting. No, not really heavy. I mean, it's not light, but... I mean, it's solid black. There's no... To me, it... It, it looks, looks like, like rocks. It looks like onyx. Okay. So is, how would I know for sure? Is there like a test or anything I can do for onyx? Um, onyx is usually solid black all the way through. You're not going to find any marks of um, any other color in there. Um, it is solid, solid, solid black. Any kind of pitting in there is going to be black. Yeah, this one you can see like it's a rough edge and it's just all black. Yeah, most likely it's it's onyx. But it doesn't feel super cold. It, I mean, gemstones don't necessarily have to be super, super cold. Okay. It's okay. just the weight you want to look at. Okay. Well, we have um, another bag, but we're going to do it in another video because we're at 38 minutes. And again, I'm going to pull up Moonstone Mamas. And everyone, please go subscribe and check out her channel. I think you're going to love it. And... We'll be back for another video. So we're going to work on one more tonight. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys soon.